Greetings, everybody. Michelle Black here with Kingdom Travels. It is an honor and a privilege to come to you on today, continuing the Kingdom Travels 100 Travel Tips. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. We'll go through all the other logistics at a later time. Now, today we're going to do travel tips number 28 and 29, all right? So travel tip number 28 is wear comfortable clothing. Yes, this is very, 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 very important, okay? Um, I, I put it in my top five when you're traveling um, via an airplane or train or even a car, you know, cruises, is, you go, you go straight to your room, but when you're traveling airplane, via car, or via a train, you know, you want to make sure that you're comfortable. So let's first start off with comfortable clothing. When you travel, make sure you're, you know, you have a nice, comfortable shirt, blouse, dress, dress that flares out, like maxi dresses, or even shorts. Because when you travel overseas, let's just begin with those type of flights. You're talking about being on a plane for six to almost 15 hours straight, depending on where you're going. And it's very important that you wear comfortable clothes that allow you to move around, especially if you're in economy seating, because you're like this, okay? So you don't want to be still like this, but then your clothing is not comfortable as well. In addition, make sure that you always bring a jacket when you um, go on a flight or a train or a car, because sometimes those particular facilities or transportation um, buildings or whatever, y'all know what I'm trying to talk about, they have the air conditioner up to accommodate everybody and to also make sure that it's not too hot. So always bring your jacket. You may be going to Dubai and you'd be like, oh, it's hot, Miss Black. Bring your jacket because you never know when you will need to use it, whether it's hot or not. Because usually if it's hot during the day, wherever destination you go, sometimes at night, if you're traveling at night or going somewhere at night, it may be very cool. So it's very important that you bring a jacket. Now, let's talk about shoes. Bring your tennis shoes, even when you're going to the airport and you're on the uh, train, I'm sorry, on the plane, train, or even a car. Wear your tennis shoes or some comfortable flip-flops because now they have flip-flops that have extra thick soles and they just totally comfortable because remember, you're going to be doing a lot of walking. And this is even when you arrive at your destination. Tennis shoes when you tour, um, dressy shoes. When you're going out and for my women, make sure you have a pair of flat dressy shoes, too, because, you know, you're not going to be in those heels all the time. All right. I do that all the time. Now, let's talk about clothing when you travel. So it is very good to find out what type of weather, wherever you're traveling, is going to be for that week or what is the average type of weather temperatures during the time that you're traveling to your destination. So always, I said, bring a coat, a jacket, really a jacket, a nice padded jacket, and then dress according to the temperature, the weather. So always bring your, you know, your nice summer clothes, but throw in a pair of um, uh, sweat, a sweatsuit, sweatshirt and sweatpants, all right? Because you never know. Throw in a pair of sweatsuits um, just in case it's cold when you're traveling to and fro. All right. But overall, make sure that you bring the proper clothing to wherever travel destination that you're going to. All right. Now we're going to do travel tip number 29. Travel tip number 29 is book the seats that you are most comfortable. So a lot of times we book the economy because it's cheaper. Okay. However, many of the airlines now have now have economy, basic economy, premium seating, and then your business class and the first class. Now, your basic economy is what it is. 
out the way in the back or in the middle in a tight seat. Your regular economy, they may give you a little extra room in the seat, but not that much. Your premium seating, um, you'll probably have more leg room. And that's really important. Have more leg room. As I'm doing this, my son is sneaking me a snack to open for him. But anywho, have more leg room and premium seating. All right. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had a few technical difficulties and I had to make sure that y'all was able to hear me. So as I was saying, the airlines for international flying, and hopefully that is what um, was the last thing you heard me. Sometimes, depending on the airline, their seats are a little bigger, even in economy. But listen, if you have the extra money to spend and you definitely traveling from here to maybe Australia or China, which is way much longer flight. Go ahead and upgrade to one of those seats where it transitions into a bed, allow you to lay down and rest and go to sleep. Trust me, it is worth the investment, especially for those that may have small medical issues where you can't keep your feet down for a long period of time, at one point you will need to elevate them. Which brings me, let me go back to the uh, travel tip number 28 on wear comfortable clothing. If you have small medical issues and you have to travel a long distance, please seek your uh, medical professional because they may recommend to you those, um, those socks, those pressure socks, okay? They may recommend those to you to make sure that your the swelling and your blood, the swelling is decreased and the blood circulation keeps flowing through your body as you're walking and you're keeping your feet down for a long period of time. So I just want to throw that to you. Please know, disclaimer, we're not a medical professional company. However, we do advise you to seek your medical professional to let them know when you're traveling a long distance and due to whatever medical issue you may have, They'll provide you the proper instructions on how to dress and what to have as you travel on long distance flights. Now, getting back to travel tip number 29, make sure you, you book your seats that you're comfortable with. So if you have the extra funds to invest in one of those seats that transitions um, into a bed, do it. If you have the extra funds, if you can't get that type of seat, that you could do the premium seating where you can have extra leg room to stretch out, do it. If you've never traveled long distance before, it's better to invest in the better seats. Once you've traveled long distance and you see how long of the traveling via airline is for different destinations, then you can determine the next time you travel which seat that you would like to do, all right? So it's very important that if you could upgrade your ticket for a seat that could be folded into a bed, then do it because it's actually better that you're rested during your airline flight since you're woke most of the time during the day, all right? So that is travel tips number 28, wear comfortable clothing, and travel tip number 29, Book a seat on your airline 
that you're most comfortable with. And even though, let me take it back again off of that. If you're in a train, if you're traveling via a train, Amtrak, get a room. <laughs> get a room that will be able to assist you to be able to rest and relax. They have like bunk beds where you can lay down as you're traveling. You don't always have to travel in the open aspect of the train. You could book you a room, a small train room, especially if you have kids. You definitely want to make sure you book a room. So this is Michelle Black here with Kingdom Travels. It was a pleasure to provide you on today, travel tips number 28 and 29. I hope that you gain much information more from the information we provided you. And if you would like to contact us to move forward or find out more, please reach us at 346-917-0048 extension 1 or info at kas dash llc.com for we are prepared and ready to serve you and answer any questions that you may have. Be blessed, everybody. Take care.